Okay, we're going to start up with a new project in Adobe Premiere. This is going to be Challenge 3. Control N on our Adobe. We're going to sequence it. Control N. And we are going to do the same exact sequence that we've done in the previous challenges. ARRI 1080 23.976. All right, then we're going to create a challenge three folder on our desktop. In that challenge three folder, you are going to need your video from challenge two. So you're going to get your video from challenge two and you're going to put it in your challenge three folder. You're also going to add two JPEGs of pictures. All right. So you could look up some pictures that go along with your theme. Remember the theme we started with was basically fun. All right. Once you have your challenge three folder completely filled with everything you need then you could go ahead and draw drag it into your project bin okay we're going to go to project three and then we're going to drag it into our project three bin sequence one so everything in this is going to be sequenced according to our settings all right next step is adding our video to our timeline, we're going to yes, change sequence settings. And what we're going to do that's a little bit different here is we're going to add pictures and we're going to add text. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add, put text in on our video. So you have to go to the type tool, which is right here. It's a T and you click it and you click on your video, make sure that you have the arrow key with the little line with the little dotted box. And then you're gonna type in your text. We're gonna call this fun times. And in order to edit this text, we have to go to essential graphics. So you need to make sure you're in window, workspaces, all panels, and then you're gonna go to essential graphics. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to just check out this vertical center tool and the vertical horizontal. So you could put it in the middle of your text or in the middle of your video. And then there's another pretty cool tool right here called the tracking tool. And this tool will, oh, forgot, you got to highlight your text. So double click in here triple click and you'll highlight your text in this tool the tracking tool you could actually get your text to space out so let's say I wanted to take more of the screen up and then I could go back here and center it and basically if you're ever gonna click off of it make sure you go to your selection tool all right so when we, we are on the selection tool, we could double click and highlight it again. We could change our text. So right here it's in Tahoma. You could change it to a different type of text. All right. And you could really do some cool things with your, um, with your text on here. If you want to play around with the appearance tools, and then you're going to want to use your tracking tool and you're going to use your vertical and center align. And then these tools basically all align your text. So there's a lot of tools and it's a little bit more than we're used to. So don't get too into the weeds. Just use the vertical, horizontal, color and your tracking tool and give your um, give your video a title. Also down here, you see the graphic. We can move that graphic wherever we want 
And then when we play it, so let's go ahead and click off of there. You'll see that it... So your text goes in as you're playing. Same with your pictures. Your pictures are going to come in as the video is playing. All right, pictures in the video. I have a, a edit between my video and the pictures, but I'm missing audio under here. So what I need to do is I need to click on a piece of the audio. Well, you could add a new audio in if you wanted to. You could go over here and add it in. But I also want you guys to know that you could go in here and unlink your video and audio here. And you could actually um, copy this audio. See how I have it highlighted? I copy it. And you could click in here. And move your dra drag your playhead over, control V, and you could paste in new audio. Let me make this so I you can see it. So now I have a new piece of audio here that I could basically put in the gap here. So you come over here, drag it in. You could drag your audio in to fit. All right. So once again, you just Make sure you pull your playhead over, control V after you unlink it, and then you could lower the size of it and put it in here so that it fits. All right. Yeah, you don't want any gaps in your audio or it's not going to sound right. All right. Also, when you have your pictures in here, you're going to want to make sure you're on the selection tool. Double click your picture up here so that you get it highlighted and make it so that it fits your entire screen. All right. That's another way to make it look good. Let me go here. After you're done with this, you're gonna you're gonna cut it together and make a nice little uh, video, and then you're gonna put your in by pressing I. Drag your playhead to the outside and put O, so you got your in and out points. All right, and then you're gonna file, export media, and you're gonna continue on with the H two point six four setting. Make sure you're at 1280720. Export. All right. And that is a completed project challenge number three.